Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will see, uh, as I have promised in my last video, that uh, I will create another video about the schedule, how we will generate the auto schedule by using the MRP. So, just uh, it is required some small changes uh, in the Metal Master that I will do. I will show you right now how, how do we uh, make some changes in the Metal Master and what are the steps we do have to follow to create the auto schedule by using the MRP. And uh, today I will teach you another thing uh, like quota agreement. And that quota agreement, what I will do uh, in this particular video itself, that I will uh, create, I will uh, consider two vendors uh, who can supply the single material, and uh, I will separate. I will, uh, you know, uh, bifurcate them. That if I require the hundred quantity. So one vendor has to deliver 70 quantity and another vendor has to deliver the 30 quantity. Like this, the percentage I will divide and based on that, uh, when the schedule will generate, uh, the auto schedule also calculate the same, right? By using the MRP. So let's come to the point and uh, first of all, we do have the T code of 101. And this is the material, yeah, this is the material I will consider today. Basic data 1 and the basic data 2. Uh, this I hope this metal has not yet extended in the uh, plant. Let's check it out whether the and that's okay. Under zero one, enter. Okay, no issue. Just to look at an RM zero one. Okay, the metal is already extended. It will be extended. That's great. Let's check out the MRP one. See the MRP type is PD. That means we have to do the MRP. That MRP has been already maintained for that. There is no issue. If it is not maintained in the in your metal master, uh, what you have to do? You have to assign your over here PD, right? And in my next video, what I will do? I will create another scheduling video by considering the reordering point or the safety stock. Based on that two particular points, I will create another video to create the schedule. See, there have been lots of multiple ways to create an auto schedule. That's my second video. It is my second video actually to show you how to create the schedule in the scheduling agreement right so what i have to do i'll have to save it yeah okay i just forget to check another thing that's an m1 zero uh, sorry an m1 zero two whether this material has been maintained for the quality or not i'll have to check it if it is not maintained that's great for me if it is maintained then there is no issue for me also i'll just check it out and the inspection not yet written. That's great for me. Uh, go to back. Now, what I'll have to do? I'll have to create the scheduling team. See. Create. Uh, Scheduling agreement in the step one. First of all, the first point is I'll have to create the schedule agreement. The next point will be what I have to do. Maintain source list. As I have told you that uh, today I will uh, you know uh, do some bifurcation and I will create this auto schedule by using the MRP and as well as quota agreement. Quota agreement. I'll write the T code also. ME31 and ME01. Sorry. ME01. Step me Q1 MA Q1 that the quota agreement, and after that, I will create requirement as a T code MD61. <laughs> And the next is run MRP C code is D zero 
थ्री these are the five step that i follow and another thing i just forget to tell you you can create the so um, in purchase info record also in the first step and uh, here it is not uh, mandatory actually in my limited document type uh, in document type you document that type that i have not in the mandatory uh, okay so what's up my first step that i have to create create a scheduling agreement go to m31l as i have tell you and i will select the window 7 that's great z r a w right and which material i have maintained over there the same material target quantity this much and location i have extended for this and the price is suppose 20 We do have the price, and after that I will have to save it. Yeah, now the scheduling agreement has been saved over here. Just copy it. Now, PO first. PO one has been created. See, don't uh, actually it is a scheduling agreement. I have uh, written as a PO. There is no issue with that. And uh, now, what I'll have to do? I'll have to create another class and name, thirty one L, right? And I'll select the vendor right now, eight. And the same document type I'll select, the direct W. And the material also, material will also be the same. Target quantity nine nine nine, and the storage which is R M zero one. Let's suppose the price also is given in the twenty. Okay, as the uh, as for the real time scenario, you can maintain over here. But uh, for now, I have maintained the same. And the PO two, PO two is the PO two. Yeah. Now what I have to do actually the second step, I have to maintain the maintain the source list. So what is the uh, T code of maintaining the source list is M zero one. Class M zero one. This is the material. Okay, that's great. And uh, it is valid from. Then it will be valid. It will valid from. Let's suppose from today to valid. It, uh, it will valid. Fifteen seven. 2023, right? And which vendor I have maintained over here? Okay. Um, I'll go to vendor number 33. I'll go to that. Six hundred twenty-eight. That. Yeah. The seven number. Vendor seven. And the purchase organization is one thousand. Scheduling agreement. Scheduling agreement number one for this against this vendor. Agreement this item ten. And here the most important thing that you have to select the two record record relevant MRP schedule line limit automatically. Right. The same thing. Okay, that's great. Now, same date. I will select fifteen seven. And the vendor, I will select the eight. And the purchase information also. And the PO is six hundred twenty eight. Twenty seven twenty eight. And the line item is ten. This is also the two. Now, till now, our source list has been generated. This two step I have did. MRP source list will be on the date. Source list source list has been changed. Now maintain quota agreement. Me two one. Lesson me two one is the key code. See now what I have to do. Uh, till now I have uh, you know what the validity over here. I will have to maintain the validity over here. That what's the validity actually? 
23 is a validity click on enter now go to item okay here you have to select external procurement that i am purchasing right now and the vendor see both the vendor i have selected over here what's my vendor actually yeah the vendor number 7 and the vendor number 8 the vendor number 7 so what are the quantity that I, that I wanted to purchase from the vendor one let's suppose uh, 60 percent that I will, I will purchase from the vendor one and the remaining quantity I will purchase from the vendor two that means it will be the 100 percent and click on save over here so see the quota agreement has been maintained successfully now what's my next step actually I have to generate the requirement so we do have a t code of 2060 so before that uh, uh, let's release the purchase uh, let's release the, uh, the scheduling scheduling agreement that we have created right now so what are the t code any 35 is a t code for sorry any 35 is a t code 7, 0, 2, and what's up? Scheduling agreement that I have created over here. It's 27 more. That's great. And then do the same. Now release. It has been released. It has a multiple level A1, A3, A02. And the same. Thank you. Now both the PO now one PO has been released. Same. A1. A02. PO number 28 for the vendor 8 execute release the same A3 A3 and this 0 2 now PO number 28 execute the same and release it till now what we have did we have released the PO. Now we have to create the requirement, individual requirement. So we do have a T code of class N and B 61. So the same material, right? And uh, let's suppose I wanted to create it with the DA in the DA format and uh, 19, 19. What I will do? I will select. Now we create the schedule till this date. Right. So 157 15, we do have 2000 quantity. 167 we do require the 2000 quantity. And it is 1000 quantity in that day. 1000 quantity. 1500 quantity. 2000 quantity. 2000 quantity. 2000 quantity. And the 2000 quantity. That I have distributed now. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Up to uh, these days, I have created the requirement that these days I need this much of quantity, these days I need this much of quantity that I have maintained over here. Now I'll have to say. Now, what's my next step that I have explained you? That I'll have to uh, execute the MD03. Class N, class N MD03 is a T code. So, as you know, it is 1. And one, three, that's great. And display the result. Click on enter. Now let's check it out. As we have generated. So first of all, we do have a requirement of C the 1200 quantity and the 800 quantity. We do have a requirement of 2000 quantity in the day one that we have created in the 63 amp quantity. First of all, 15, 7, 2022, how much quantity I need? 2000 quantity. Here, the system has uh, distributed in the two schedule line. Why? Because from vendor this, I have uh, maintained the 60% and from vendor this, I have maintained the 40%. That means the quota agreement also. 
so right now our quota agreement also working properly so right so both the thing whatever the configuration till now and whatever the process we have followed till now that is actually correct and if we will save it see that's this has been saved and let's check it out slash and any atl open the po scheduling agreement go to the schedule line let's check it out see the schedule has been generated see what's the beauty of this actually the 800 800 400 400 600 that means it has been divided with the percentage that we what we have maintained in the quota agreement that uh, he has based on that he has uh, the system has detected that one and uh, he has created the, the system has created the requirement based on the percentage what we have bifurcated so i hope each and every one of you have got my point whatever i have tried to explain and uh, if you wanted me to uh, continue my journey and if you wanted me to continue this video please uh, uh, let me know i'll definitely complete this video or uh, in the uh, in my next upcoming video i have already explained you that i will create another video based on that the reordering point and the uh, safety stock i will generate the schedule how the system will generate schedule automatically right so okay i'll do one thing i'll just uh, you know i'll receive the material also i'll show you that how the system will receive the material slash n and uh, first of all let's do open up uh, and then big e sorry i'll show you that how much quantity it is available over here and i have executed see the on order quantity is on order the stock is that much so actually i was waiting for uh, next day that it has already midnight uh, 12 before it means uh, what are the schedule quantity we do have right now on the 15th we do have the schedule quantity of 800 uh, and in the 16th we do have the schedule quantity of 800 that means while receiving in the mevo it has to come 1600 so let's check it out in the mevo whether it is coming or not if it is coming that means whatever the process we have with till now it is correct actually see how much quantity it is coming right now see the quantity is 1600 we should use one and uh, where the purchase order also 628 see the purchase order 628 based on that i am selecting because the schedule has been generated for that is 1600 800 for 15 and 16 uh, for 800 for 167 so click on line item Let's check. Now, document is okay. Now, post. So it must has the sixteen hundred quantity has came to the unrestricted stock with the using of moment type one zero one, and I will check in the MMB right now also. So let's check in in the MMB that I have opened somewhere. Yeah, but this picture is right. as i can see that 1600 quantity has came based on that you can create your own you will just try and if you are getting any kind of issue or if you are getting any kind of error related to that particular uh, process please let me know i'll help you out definitely so i hope you are like the video and uh, if you do like the video please hit on like button and uh, please do subscribe my channel so that uh, you will get the update while i upload the new video okay thank you and thanks for supporting